Bessie Smith was arguably one of the most influential jazz singers during the Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance was a movement that represented an outpouring of African American culture and entrepreneurship. As African Americans moved north, they brought with them a culture born of their experiences navigating an often unfair society based on social norms for which they possessed little ability to change. Out of these cultural navigations came jazz, America's first authentic art form. Bessie Smith was brought up in poverty. Her birth date is unknown because African American people were not allowed to have birth records during this time. Growing up, Bessie had approximately seven siblings and lived in a small one-room shack in Chattanooga, Tennessee. After her mother and father died, her older sister, Viola Smith, gained control of her and her siblings. Bessie finished school till eighth grade, but has never said whether she moved on further with her education. Not much is said about her teen years, but we do know when she was around 12 that she was recruited by her brother's mission troop, Moses Stokes Ministral Troop. She there was met by a woman named Gertrude Ma Rainey, a pioneering artist and leading figure in the Harlem Renaissance. Smith defied racial barriers through the force of her indomitable personality and self-confident artistry. She wanted to change people with her, her voice, and that's exactly what she did. She made more money than any African-American person before her. Though she's a famous singer, her life has had a lot of downs. A quote that once describes her ups and downs is, It's a long road, and I know I'm going to find the end. Another quote is, Trouble, trouble, I've had it all my days. It seems that trouble is going to follow me to my grave. One of her first troubles was she wasn't signed by a label by Father Ochre and Black Swan Records for sounding too rough. Smith's notorious private life contributed to the glamorizing of self-destructive behavior often associated with jazz, blues, and rock performers to the present day. Smith's violent temper, combined with physical strength and broad, notory sexual life involving both men and women, were boundary-breaking. Although she was married to a man named Jack Gee, who reportedly beat her, she carried on. Another quote that relates to this is, No time to marry, no time to settle down. I am a young woman and I ain't done running around. This signifies that this marriage wouldn't hold her back or define her. Adding to how famous Smith is, she recorded with a very well-known trumpet player and singer, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong played trumpet for her in many of her songs. Three songs they corresponded in were Dear Old Southland, Someday You'll Be Sorry, and Jeepers Creepers. Smith defined a new era. She sang jazz, often changing people's views on African Americans just by the way she carried herself. She was killed in a car crash on September 26 for unknown reasons. We do know she made it to the hospital, but her injuries killed her. That day, we lost a game changer. She was awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and she died a jazz legend. <laughs>